Do you often get confused between BPD and CPTSD? Borderline Personality Disorder, or BPD, and Complex Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, CPTSD, are two disorders that have many striking similarities. Because of the similarities, people with either disorder are often misdiagnosed, which can be problematic given that the two disorders are treated very differently. So to help you better understand the differences between the two, here are some of the signs you can look out for. What is BPD? Borderline personality disorder is a cluster B personality disorder characterized by unstable moods, relationships, and self-identity. In many cases, this disorder develops out of traumatic events, usually occurred in childhood, but can be developed genetically as well. People with BPD may also experience a fear of abandonment and rejection, self-harm and suicidal behaviors, intense and rapid mood swings, impulsivity, difficulties with knowing who they are, and changing interests based on who they're with. What is CPTSD? Compared to this, complex post-traumatic stress disorder is a type of PTSD. CPTSD is characterized by repeated traumatic events happening over a long period of time, whereas PTSD is usually a single incident or incidents that happen in a relatively short time span. People with this disorder may have difficulties trusting others, difficulties regulating emotions, being on constant high alert, having flashbacks and nightmares to traumatic events. So in what ways are they similar? BPD and CPTSD have many overlaps with one another. Both tend to have difficulties regulating emotions and can have unstable relationships. They are also characterized by mood swings, a fear of abandonment, dissociation, and negative perceptions of self. However, here are some of the ways that they are different. Number one, BPD has an inconsistent self-concept. One of the big overlaps between the two disorders is the tendency to have a negative perception of self. The difference lies in the fact that with BPD, this self-concept can change dramatically in a short period of time. It's possible for people to go from feeling broken and worthless to having an exaggerated sense of self-worth. In comparison, the self-identity in those with CPTSD remains the same, though it's consistently negative, broken, or worthless. Number two, people with CPTSD usually do not have the same fear of abandonment. Fear of abandonment is often present in either condition, but it manifests differently between the two. With BPD, this fear of abandonment can lead to frantic efforts to avoid it. They may threaten others, block them from leaving, or even cut them out of their life altogether. Compared to this, people with CPTSD will struggle more with trust and avoiding others. Number three, people with CPTSD are less likely to self-harm. People with BPD have an increased incidence of self-harming and impulsive behaviors that are not typically seen in the same way as those with CPTSD. While suicide and self-harm can happen to those with CPTSD, those with BPD may be more impulsive in their actions. BPD is also much more associated with suicidal actions than those with CPTSD. And number four, with CPTSD, you are more likely to avoid relationships. People with CPTSD are more likely to avoid relationships and push people away as a defense mechanism than those with BPD. Since people with BPD have a higher tendency to fear being alone, they'll try to find more opportunities to be with other people. While people with either disorder may push others away, those with BPD often do so to avoid abandonment or rejection, whereas those with CPTSD will do so because they feel threatened. While the two disorders have many similarities, they require very different treatments and have different causes and complications. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.